the latest in that wasteful military spending. Just recently, we told you how the entire fleet of F-35s and F-22 fighter jets have been grounded due to a slew of serious mechanical problems. And now an audit from the Inspector General shows that questions are being raised over 5 million pieces of body armor that the Army has used in both Iraq and Afghanistan for the past 10 years. A Pentagon report questions the reliability of 5 million pieces of body armor. Safety tests were conducted with wrong plates. They were inconsistent, and two designs were approved without any testing. Ha! Approving body armor that they didn't even bother to test. Can't really say I'm that surprised. Now, the audit gave in-depth information about seven military contracts, all for armor plates known as ballistic inserts. And in the report, the inspector general wrote, consequently, the Army cannot be sure that the ballistic inserts meet requirements. As a result, the Army lacks assurance that 5.1 million ballistic inserts acquired through the seven contracts provide appropriate protection. Now, over the course of the two years that the IG investigated these inserts, they noted that they did not conduct any tests on their own regarding the structural integrity of the armor. Now, sadly, politicians have been calling for the in-depth research of this equipment since 2006, when Representative Louis Slaughter noticed 80 percent of Marines died from wounds in the upper chest region. Yep, issuing a protective equipment to our troops fighting tirelessly abroad, and the Pentagon can't even take the time to make sure that those soldiers are going to be safe. But here's something else that's going to get your blood boiling. The price tag of that wasteful armor and those seven military contracts or ballistic inserts came to a cool $2.5 billion. That's right, billions for armor that the Pentagon can't even promise will work and they can't even bother to test. It's just more money to flush down the drain right after the trillion dollars that the Pentagon has invested in those oh-so-precious fighter jets. You know, the ones that are currently not flying. So let's just hope that the military will actually look into the inconclusive evidence for the Army body armor. Unlike when the Pentagon signed yet another $535 million deal with Lockheed Martin for 38 more F-35s, despite the fact that they don't work. So there you have it. More proof the Pentagon loves to spend money without doing their research. And no wonder they, want, they don't want to have their budget cut by the government. They just need all that money to throw around with military equipment that doesn't even work and, worst of all, put lives at risk.